under the uh, Time and Case front cover, we have a set of pulleys which have uh, allowed to be run free. See, the belt is not there now, and it's been wrapped around the crankshaft. What we need to do is check the markers for the crankshaft, the camshaft, and the fuel injection pump. So, let's get rid of the uh, timing belt. This is no use to anybody now. Look at the state of that. That's uh, shredded to pieces. We took the rocker shaft off because the valves, as you can see, are actually protruding into the combustion area. Okay, with the cam lift on this, it's uh, impossible to turn anything around fully. So we've removed this, and I've also removed these four glow plugs to make sure that I have as least resistance as possible. So we're looking at the camshaft here. Um, you can see the lift, and um, this is as free as a daisy. What we need to do is set it along with the fuel injection pump and the crankshaft. Now, we're looking at the fuel injection pump here, and uh, this slot, which I'm about to highlight, needs to have a peg put in it to lock the uh, pulley into the correct position. All right, so I'll slip that in there, and that is right. Okay, that's set correctly. Now I'll show you again, but I'm using a um, specific Land Rover design tool which goes into the same slot. All right. You have the option of using a drill, but as long as the dimensions are right. Now, what I have here is the um, correct tool, Land Rover made. Well, in fact, this is actually the Sealy tool, but the dimension is 9.5 millimeters. This one here is to um, make sure that the flywheel is in the correct position and these tools are, are quite vital all right it goes in the drain plug of the uh, flywheel housing here we'll come to that what you need to do with the uh, pump pulley is actually loosen off the three bolts which um, this is a locking plate now this plate holds the pulley onto the pump drive now you see these are two are set correctly at the moment Okay, here's a vital bit of information you need to know about the uh, three pulleys. The crankshaft pulley rotates twice compared to one rotation of the camshaft and the FIP, fuel injection pump, pulleys. You need to know this information to understand the relationship between the pulleys. Okay, what we're going to be doing now is uh, setting the Maverick crank, as I like to, uh, to call it. This one would have gone absolutely berserk, and uh, resetting this it's important to note that it is actually quite easy. There is a keyway on the front here, which you need to remember will line up with the arrow above it, okay? Now, there are two slots in the flywheel, top and bottom here, as you can see. Okay, now only one of those is correct. To line these up, all right, I've got my finger pointing on this one, um, actually is where the timing pin goes down the bottom here okay and you can see on the left hand side is the other false one this bung plug here will help you what you can do is uh, crack it off a 13 mil spanner here it's showing off my ratchet spanners and underneath is a marker with two notches in can you see that okay now looking through the hole here you can see that that the crankshaft will be set at the correct position the other way to see is you've got it at TDC on a web marker here on the front timing case. You could possibly set that. Okay, this is piston at top dead center. Look, it's had a dent put in this one. All right, so this will be right. Okay. Now, the crankshaft is now set. The timing pin is in, in the correct slot. All right. Don't just rely on finding a slot on the uh, flywheel here because it won't work. Okay. Now let's turn the engine back round again. I know it's, it's difficult because you'll have this in the vehicle. However, this way you can see exactly what's going on. All right, so all the pulleys are set now. You can see the, the markers here. This is vital. Once you've got this, you can put the timing belt on. 